Hey guys, Frank here. Thanks for joining us for another Duplin Winery Dine and Wine Wednesday. This week we've got another cool, refreshing summertime drink. But this one has a little bit of spice to it. So this was sent to us by Jonathan's father-in-law, Terry. So Terry, if you're watching, thanks for sending this to us. I've tried it and it's awesome. And this is called an Hatteras Red Hot. It's pretty easy to make. Main ingredient is your Hatteras Red. And then the twist on this is we're going to take about one and a half jalapenos to two jalapenos and we're going to cut them up. And the first thing I like to do when I cut our jalapenos up is we want to get the seeds out of there, especially since we are making a drink out of this. So when we pour it out, we don't have all the seeds come out into our glass. So what I've done is I've cut one of these jalapenos in half lengthwise. And now I'm just kind of scraping the seeds out of there. You can see what I'm doing here. You're going to have those seeds, you know, on your cutting board there. So we'll just move those out of the way. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to slice this jalapeno. Uh, something like that. And towards the end, make sure that you're going to leave a little bit for garnish. So we'll leave about that much for garnish on the side of our glass. Give it a little cut there. We'll go ahead and put that on the side of our glass so it's there we don't forget it. So... I have already taken one of our Hatter's Reds and infused it with the jalapenos. You can see the jalapenos in there. I've already cut those up. It's been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. So let me reopen this. Now the idea here with this spicy drink is during the summer, even though it's hot outside, you're going to take those jalapenos. When you drink it, you're going to sweat a little bit. When you sweat, you're going to get that condensation on your skin. And what that's going to do is evaporate, and it's going to cool you down a little bit. That's the theory anyway. So we'll try and see what happens. Now, we're going to take a glass of ice. We've got our little garnish of jalapeno on the side. And, oh, this is one of our bistro glasses. If you guys haven't been to our Rose Hill location, come see us. We're in Rose Hill, North Carolina, right about in between Raleigh and Wilmington. Come in, we've got a restaurant called The Bistro. If you haven't eaten there, I promise you, it's gonna be one of your favorite meals you've ever had. So come on in, check us out between 12 and three there. I'm sorry, 11 and three. So we open 11, close at three. We do lunch, check it out, you'll love it. So let's try this now. So we've got our glass. We're gonna pour our wine in there over that ice. And if you get those jalapenos stuck in there like that, just give it a shake and uh, don't let it bottleneck like that because you want to try this. All right, so even if you get a little bit of the jalapeno in there, you can pick it out if you don't, you know, if you don't want to eat the jalapenos. I personally, I kind of like jalapenos, so it's time to try. Here we go. It smells good. You can smell those jalapenos in there. Oh yeah. Okay, now you don't taste that spiciness until probably about three or four seconds afterwards. When I've tasted it first, all you taste is the hatters. As it goes down, you start to taste that spiciness. Now, if you want a little bit more spicy, you can use habaneros, ghost peppers, whatever kind of peppers you want. We use jalapenos, but I'm telling you right now, that is a awesome drink. Yeah, you really, oh, and that's good. You guys gotta try this. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining us this week. Come see us again next time here on Duplin Winery Dine and Wine Wednesday. We'll have another recipe for you. But until then, you guys stay safe. We'll see you on the other side. Cheers. Frank out.